Okay, in this video we're going to go over making the fur dynamic. Um, hopefully at this point you have the general look that you're going for. Um, it's the render I did here. Um, it's just at two samples. Uh, I think it's 0.05 anti-aliasing. It only took uh, two and a half minutes. Um, just a, just I did this real quick in just a few minutes. Um, got this tapered off a little bit. I'm not sure if I stressed that earlier rim light's very important um, to show off a profile of fur. Um, I'll show some of the settings that I used for this. Um, the main things that I changed were um, a lot of the stuff that we went over earlier. Um, the tip width is low. Uh, I changed the collar up here. I kind of kept the spec where it was. Um, the base collar's uh, real dark. Um, I made it even darker because I thought it would be um, rather dirty um, being a lighter collared fur. Um, also added in quite a bit of noise amplitude uh, and frequency on the length um, as well as uh, tip curl as that's the main I, I didn't actually add any tip curl up here um, I added it here um, as well as uh, so a little bit of noise um, on the clumping there as well um, so what we're going to do is uh, is you can hide your fur at this point. You can also uh, hide your uh, arm geometry. Um, this is this is what it looks like when you um, this sampled uh, that whole texture map there. Um, and this is like what I was talking about earlier um, with the blend. Um, but you could take that in and uh, create your own uh, map and plug that in also. Um, so we're going to grab all of our patches here. And we're going to come up to uh, our dynamics tab. We're going to come over to here and we're just going to go to create here options. Now we just need uh, the NURBS curves. Um, we're not going to use the paint effects. Uh, so NURBS curves are fine. So we're just going to use these to dynamically uh, drive something. Um, on a grid is good. Our U and V count, um, don't use this. Um, we'll say uh, you could fill this up um, to like 16 by 16 um, with like two passive fills um, and I mean it would absolutely fill it up uh, with with how we set this up the number of patches um, 8, 8 and 2 is probably going to be good for this um, we want them to be dynamic um, the length um, we want the dynamic hairs to be longer than the fur you never want them to be shorter but then again we don't want them you know, 15 foot long um, we can actually uh, drop this down uh, quite a bit um, kind of based off our global scale um, we're going to place these into a new hair system that's fine um, the reason I'm saying 0.15 is because I know my global scale was at 0.1 um, so this should apply correctly um, it's going to ask us okay is it okay to generate this many hairs which is um, quite a few um, we're going to select this option. I've used, always used this. Um, it works well. Um, it's going to create paint effects um, to display here in the viewport. It's going to create our output curves, which is what we're going to actually still use for all of uh, our setup purposes. But as far as what we're going to see um, in the viewport here, we're going to use the paint effects curves because it will update quite a bit faster. Um, give it a second here to run through this. Um, it does. Um, it is not the fastest process um, but like I said once it completes um, we'll have our paint effects here there we go okay in our outliner um, you'll see that we have our paint effects here um, this is our actual output curves here that's drop that's go going to be driving the fur um, but what's going to update is the paint effects here 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 we don't need the follicles to be shown uh, right now um, and we can actually go ahead and close that as well um, one thing to note here in the hair system uh, if you come over here um, under the uh, dynamics tab um, some of the things that you'll want to change is you're going to make sure that your start frame is um, where you're going to want it to be um, you can change your iterations up um, we'll say 13 um, the stiffness, um, obviously how stiff these hairs are. You can also do uh, inter interactive playback if you want, um, which which I I recommend. Um, 
the stiffness is we're going to want these a little stiffer. Um, some of the things you're going to notice is whenever you play this back is um, that you may see the fur kind of um, um, freak out whenever it lays down. We're also going to want to um, set up our collisions. Um, the way I would recommend doing this is um, by selecting uh, your output curves. Come up here to edit and uh, select my type hierarchy. Select hierarchy. And then up here uh, under here, you would go to uh, create constraint uh, clod sphere. And it takes it a second to create this. You'll see our, uh, your clod sphere down here. And then you would just parent this into your. Uh, rig system here. Um, you can shape these as well. However you want to put them in there and then you would form those into your geometry. Um, what I'm going to do just for purposes of uh, this tutorial is just um, make my arm a collider which you can do as well. Um, it does. It is slower to update. Um, it does take a, 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 a while longer. Um, like I said, just for purposes of this, where it's just the arm, um, I can just go ahead and go here and uh, make it collide. I'll need to select these. I'm going to say make clot. That'll add a node on this as a uh, geo connector node. Um, that'll let us know that it's um, connected to it as well as um, you can see the input here with time. Now when we play through this we're going to see our hair fall down and it's going to uh, it'll lay over this surface now and um, if you see your hair uh, kind of um, freaking out you may need to uh, increase the dampening on it. a bit to be uh, a bit too slow to update to uh, do in real time with the uh, the screen recording but the um when it lays down over it, you typically you can uh, update it and it's n no problem at all um, a couple of the things that you're going to want to notice here on your hair system under the dynamics attributes is you may need to add a little bit of uh, dampening to it um, you can also lower uh, your friction a little bit to help with that and that'll that'll um, help it because uh, you may see it like kind of like crawl around. Um, it, it's it's having problems. You can also increase your iterations. Um, that's usually the last thing that you want to do because that's going to take much much longer to uh, play back and cache. Um, once you have it uh, kind of how you want, um, I won't do this in the uh, the video because it will be slow to update. But I am going to go through it so you um, you know the steps of ex of exactly what you, um, what it is that you need to do. Um, you can select your hair system. I'm sorry, select your output curves. Select my hierarchy again, and under your hair, you can set their uh, start position from rest. You're going to want to let it play through. Um, to where they're you know in the position that you want you can set your uh, start position from the rest there and under your hair system you can turn up depending on uh, what the look you're going for uh, with your dynamics um, you can turn up uh, your start curve attract and then it, it'll make it uh, give it the look of uh, being a little more uh, coarse and uh, keep it from apt, um, really flopping around I wouldn't recommend setting the uh, the rest position um, if I said that earlier I meant to say the start um, I, I would just use this um, kind of vary the value um, to where it would be uh, good for for the look that you're going for and, and that should work just fine for you once you have uh, that complete um, you're going to want to select your hair system you're going to want to go to your rendering tab 
and you're going to want to come up here and go to attach hair description to your uh, fur description or attach your hair system to the fur description that that you have on here um, th that will take several minutes for that to update and once it does it's going to create um, fur curve attractor node um, which I'll show in the next video um, what that's doing there and then we'll connect our muscle system up to the patches and we'll have a complete system oh yeah and once you complete this um, remember to cache it um, select your hair system I almost forgot this so this is very important go to your dynamics come up here to hair and you're going to want to create a cache for this um, you can base it off your time slider that, that if that's set up for your animation um, you may you may need to back it up a couple frames to let it relax if it need, still needs to relax some um, but make sure that you uh, you cache that out. Um, it's going to save you a lot of time um, to, to keep things a, as you get them complete um, to go ahead and cache them, so we can inspect things later on a lot easier. But uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the final video.